Merhaba and welcome to our new series Explore Turkey. Imagine waking up to this magical landscape. We couldn't start to experience this beautiful country in a better place than here, the astonishing Cappadocia. Lava, ash, rain, wind and ice are the artists that have sculpted over millions of years this region of natural wonders in central Turkey. This is probably not the first time you have seen these fairy chimneys, conical structures that can reach up to 45 meters in height. But believe me, actually walking through this moonscape region is quite surreal. If nature was the first artist to arrange the decor, men carved the rest, creating what is now considered a national treasure. A member of the UNESCO World Heritage List since 1984, the Göreme Open Museum is a monastic Byzantine masterpiece. The churches, chapels and monasteries here have all been cut into the rock. The Göreme Open Air Museum had been used as a monastery for a long time, but at the beginning of the early Christianity, this place were really hidden into the valleys. That's why the early monks, they wanted to create their own communities. This place protected the people, their lives, their belief, their religions for a long time. Inside this church, the walls are adorned with beautiful frescoes. Miraculously, the colors have retained their original luster. This church is called the Dark Church, has the very well-preserved colors of our region. So this is all original. It didn't restrate anything. Really? For sure. Everything is natural. The colors, the natural pigments, the fresh lime, the polish is made from white pigeon eggs. You may imagine as a glue. Yes. They made a kind of glue and when they completed all the frescoes after all dry down, they completed the polish. Another gem, though less known, is Cappadocia's wine. According to history, the region makes up part of the Caucasus considered to be the birthplace of wine. Viticulture is said to have first begun here during the Bronze Age. The unique character of the wines from Cappadocia stems from the land. There is lots of soil which is made from the volcanic ashes, the tough soils. This is the soil that made the vineyards. It brings a lot of flavors, a lot of acidity, a lot of minerality. Cappadocia is especially famous for the quality of its white wines made from emir grapes that are unique to the region. The emir it has the pale yellow color. You can smell flowers, like mm. apples, and oh. if you smell a little bit much, you can see in the background like ash. Because of the soil itself, you can feel that notes. So okay. it's a different types of wine. Hot air balloon, cycling and hiking are some of the most popular tourist activities. But this time, we are taking an alternative form of transport to wander the valleys. So, let's see where my new friend Ellison is taking me today. Let's go! Horse riding is an all-year-round activity in Katpatuka, which in one interpretation means land of beautiful horses. Horses are the best guides in this rocky terrain, allowing you to visit places which a tour bus or car can't get to. Back on firm ground, now I'm bringing you underground to show you where people used to shelter centuries ago. Let's go! Another must-do thing in Cappadocia is delving down tens of meters below sea level to explore the centuries-old tunnel network. Carved out of soft volcanic stone, there are around 200 underground cities in the region. Only a few of them are open to visitors, like Kaimakli, the oldest one. This underground city about 4,000 years old. In Hittites era, more or less 2,000 people would stay here, but they were living only in war time to protect themselves from their enemies. There are close to 100 tunnels inside this underground city. What an experience! I'm leaving Cappadocia with unforgettable memories. See you soon for another adventure in Explore Turkey. Goroshurus!